Manufacturing with more than half a billion jobs globally is crucial for employment generation and for inclusive and sustainable industrial development, according to the latest Industrial Development Report, a flagship publication of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO. The report was launched during the organization's 15th session general conference hosted by the government of Peru, which brought together some 1,000 participants from 172 UNIDO member states. UNIDO's Industrial Development Report 2013 makes a solid case by correctly framing the debate on jobs in the world today. Manufacturing remains an important employer and accounting for around 470 million jobs worldwide or around 16% of the world workforce of 2.9 billion in 2009. Moreover, the report provides a detailed and largely past-breaking account of how structural change has taken place over the last 14 years. The report also highlights how industrialization remains an indispensable route to development. It increases productivity and generates income, reducing poverty and providing opportunities for social inclusion. Hence, we are beginning to uh, characterize industry not only as a production activities, but also all those services are uh, related activities that directly have a bearing on manufacturing. For developing countries, aiming to maintain growth while sustaining job creation, manufacturing offers an opportunity not only to rebalance the economy towards higher value-added sectors, but also to provide a relatively wide employment base with higher labor productivity. The transition from agriculture to services, however, especially for low-income countries, offers the opportunity to achieve only the first objective, but not the second. The uh, impact of trade, uh, the impact on trade on employment, has always depended on the policies that some countries uh, have in place in order to capture the benefits of international trade uh, and to capture the benefits of international trade and employment generation. The report goes beyond just describing and looking into trends of employment. It also analyzes the courses for structural change and employment by looking into a number of courses, like infrastructure, trade, technological change and innovation. And one of the interesting findings of the report is that um, innovation and technological change can affect employment generation depending on the nature of technical change and the nature of innovation. Technological change, while it's normally understood as employment reducing, it is not so if we are, uh, if we are innovating, bringing new products into the market. It may be employment reducing if we are changing the production processes. The report underlines the quick, critical need for international cooperation to achieve the structural change and the economic growth required to combat poverty and reaffirm the commitment of my organization, UNIDO, to fulfill its unique mandate in support for this effort. The official launch of the Industrial Development Report 2013 in Lima was followed by a second launch in the Austrian National Bank early in January 2014.